so we're in the Mashhad railway station in Iran, waiting for our very first Iranian train. We're really excited to be getting on board. We're going to Tehran tonight, we're leaving at 9.50pm and we're arriving at 8.30 in the morning, so yeah, nearly 12 hours. Uh, this is our ticket and it's all written in Farsi, so we're really um, we're quite confused with that, but we cheated this time getting this ticket. We didn't come to the railway station to buy it, we went to a travel agent around the corner, so we probably paid a little bit extra, but it was still uh, 1.2 million real, which is just under between 9 and 10 US dollars at the current exchange rate, which is pretty good for a uh, night on a coupe train, so that's like a four berth, it's going to be a bit more plush than the ones we're used to, hopefully, let's see when we get on board. Um, and it's going to be quite comfortable, right? it's a bit confusing in here, there's a lot of stuff in, uh, in Farsi, but when we came in we noticed an information board um, over there where everything's written in English, so we can ask the woman there just to, just to clarify what's going on, but it looks like we're in the right place at the right time and we're uh, going to be getting on the train soon. Headgear. This is way more comfortable than the scarf, which is so difficult to get falling off and it wrapped around your neck loads of times. And yeah, so this is going to be my new look for the next month. So anyway, we've got a taxi here tonight. We again were lazy this time, and we booked through the, the hostel, which we normally never do, and we're told it's going to be a hundred thousand real. I downloaded this brilliant app for Iran. It's called Snap, and it's basically the Iranian version of Uber. And so just out of interest I put in to see what it would have been in um, Snap and the bride would cost 35000 which basically is 35 Aussie cents instead of a dollar Australia. Well and truly within our budget, you know, so I think we I don't, we might be getting a few more taxis. Well, let's see, we might, I don't know if we're going to turn this off or not, but we're coming to the, you know, we've got a month in Iran and then we're going to be on holiday for a month after that, so let's see. Mashhad station is pretty cool. They've got a huge shop with everything that you could wish to buy for. A bit further down, there's electrical chargers, there's a cafe, there's even a railway museum in the distance. Pretty much everything you need. Free drinking water and uh, toilets right beside it. It has a small cafe with ice cream and a juice bar and over here it's got a big one-stop shop with soft toys, food, drinks, so many things and of course the news agents. Free drinking water at Mashhad railway station, brilliant. How are we going, almost there? Almost there, very last platform. Excellent, they've got an uh, escalator to even get us up there which is pretty impressive. Very surprised. So now we've just got to find our carriage. You know which one it is, Mandy? It's carriage seven. Carriage seven, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got televisions inside. Well, we were. We're <laughs> so on our train. It's going to leave in about two minutes. We managed to find our compartment. It's a little bit different to what we expected, so it's number two. The tribe we're in uh, five and six. Here are our compartment mates. There's the ladder for my bunk later. And these having a little look at the train magazine. Look at this luxury. <laughs> Got a TV, seats with seat rests. Very look nice. at this. We get Cups. and delicious Iranian sugar. Dave, hey, can you show them the sugar, please? Oh, yeah, the sugar <laughs> comes like this. On a stick. Mm. Fantastic. We dunk it in, so I'm going to save mine for a souvenir, of course. We've managed to put all of our bagage up the top. Um, oops, charger, one per thing, which is brilliant. Our baggage has managed to fit up here. And I'm assuming that's with the, the sleeping stuff. So, very impressed with coupe. <sighs> yes, I have a chair. That's one bed up there. 
I've bagged this bit here because these bags are a bit dodgy. We've got to make sure he stays, you know, on the low level, but that's the ladder to get up later. I'm excited. And that's it. I just heard the whistle blow for us. I thought it was going to close in a second. And we're off on our first Iranian train. And we're off. Tomorrow morning, 8.30, in Tehran. Goodbye, my shard. It's been wonderful. Good night, my shard. Tehran in the morning. Lovely windows on these trains. Very impressed. I'm on the train, and I'm drinking my nice tea. And I'm watching Jurassic Park on the television. Hello. 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 Is that all important room? The toilet. Right here. Toilet paper there, and the sink, the mirror. Ribbing on the floor. And it's a squat toilet. It's something we haven't seen for a long time. A hose. Lovely, lovely rose, yeah. rose linen. Nice one, and they've just asked for us to uh, hand them in now, so we've got to start prodding them up. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning, it's time to That's get it. up and seize the day. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. Good time. Good time. Good time. Good time. Good time. So we've got tea bread, lamed cheese, but funnily enough, they give us the tea with this undercent white sugar, cube sugar, and honey, which is another form of sugar. Very sweet tooth, teeth, the Iranian. That's lam, labed cheese, labne cheese. I'm assuming it's some sort of feta or cream cheese. So, bon <laughs> We get one plate. <laughs> so just leaving our, our cabbage, our cabbage, our um, compartment mates have just left, they're ever so lovely. So we've got the compartment to ourselves. Here's a useful tip about sleeping on Iranian trains, uh, something that I didn't do last night. I slept on this bottom bunk and these cushions here you only seem to have very little room and I thought that's a bit weird I didn't know how to move them and this morning I asked the conductor and he explained you kind of push these back lift up the seats and wiggle it forward I'm not going to do it now but it pulls forward and then you can have an entire seat to sleep on which is much better than the tiny little one that I had the numbering system is quite different on Iranian trains from Russian so Apartment two, your tickets five and six. So we're gonna do it here, five and seven. So odd numbers on one side, even numbers on the other side, so here eight and six. And then apparently you just talk to your compartment mates and decide who's sleeping on the bottom bunk and who's going to sleep on the top bunk. Lovely. Now we're just pulling into Tehran railway station. I think we're on time. It's been a great journey and uh, we're ready to get out and check out the sights of Tehran. So we've just arrived in Tehran. It's quarter to nine in the morning so we're pretty much on time. A really good journey, very comfortable train. Definitely recommend traveling by train uh, in Iran in coupe class and now we're going to go into Tehran and check out the city for a few days.